Well, I cooked up another rabbit with my Sunday dinner last night. Gave a few away. Now I only got two left in the freezer. So today I'm uh, gonna head up in the hills and set a whack load of slips. There's my house down there. Bit of fresh snow last night and uh, <laughs> as always, no fresh sign of rabbits. No shortage, I should say. <laughs> yeah, so I don't set my slips close to the houses because you never know, someone's cat might wind up in there, but no shortage of rabbits on the go. No shortage of rabbits. But yeah, I'll show you guys some of the spots that I'm going to set some slips at. All right. About a quarter of the way up the hill. <laughs> so many rabbit runs. A few little guys going through this area. The tracks were a bit bigger. I'd set a slip there, but I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. This is all solid ice from that warm weather we had there for a bit. And uh, now I got a dust and a snow on top. I could probably run and slide right down this hill on my uh, feet. <laughs> So now that I got those and the two prime lies that are here, I sticked up everything around them. So I try to direct the rabbit through here. I like to leave my slips a little bit bigger than smaller, especially during this time of the year. Yeah, it just seems like when they're running by at nighttime, like earlier in the season, they're just kind of hopping around. But now like when they start running to stay warm, they can go through pretty quick. So it seems like when you leave your slips open a bit bigger, you got a lot better chance of uh, grabbing them and holding them. But yeah. Now, as you can see, I screwed up the rabbit run. So I got the run all fixed up now. And what I did after is, uh, since I screwed up his run from up to there, I went and I got a bow. And then anywhere behind where I screwed up the rabbit's tracks, I just kind of raked it out with a bow. And uh, I'm telling you guys the truth, like if I don't fix my runs or I step in and make a mess, I almost never get a rabbit. And then when I go behind with the boughs and I kind of rake it out to kind of get the trail look going again, I'm going to take away a bit of my scent. It's like night and day. Then right away you got rabbits. So that's my little trick. Pretty decent little beaten out run here. And I've been seeing this run going on for a while. So it's not going to be a lot of work to stick in. So I'm going to till up a quick slip here. And there's another one done. Let's see if we can set a few more before we head back home. All right, so here we go with day two. Uh, I didn't end up setting any more slips, but I felt fairly confident with the three I did set. And I know the sound's a little messed up, but going forward in the next videos, I should have that all fixed up. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Here comes day two. Well, it looks like we didn't have any success in this one, but the one right beside it, looks like we got a decent sized rabbit in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out now. And we got another one. Two out of three sets. It's not bad. All right, let's take this guy out. Right up. He wouldn't go nowhere. Not a bad one. It's a pretty little kitty. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was it. Uh, our trouting season is going to be officially opening here pretty quick, so I'm excited for that. So I'll be able to give you guys those sweet, sweet ice fishing videos you like so much. I have been ice fishing in front of the house, catching smelts. So I don't know if you guys want to see that, but <laughs> most places I've lived in Canada, people use smelts for bait. People don't actually fish for them. 
But uh, I've also been trying some weird stuff where I've been baiting a full smelt out there because it is salt water. So you never know what you might get. You could get a shark, a big ass cod, anything. But anyways, uh, thanks a lot for coming along and watching, guys. Cheers. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and help a brother out and hit that like button.